We're finally learning the fate of Ohio State football coach Urban Meyer. He's being suspended for three games. This comes after an investigation by the university that found Meyer had mishandled domestic assault allegations made against assistant coach Zach Smith. Meyer apologized at a press conference. Watch. I want to apologize to Buckeye Nation. I followed my heart, not my head. I fell short in pursuing full information because at each juncture, I gave Zach Smith the benefit of the doubt. I did not know everything about Zach Smith, which was what Zach Smith was doing, and I'm pleased that the report made this very clear. However, I should have demanded more from him and recognized red flags. Tori? Yeah, um, I'm really disappointed with this apology for two reasons. One, the whole reason Urban Meyer is, or Mayor's being reprimanded is he ignored Courtney Smith. He ignored her constant cries for help. He ignored, and a lot of people said, a 2009 incident, 2015 incident. His wife had pictures. Whether we know what happened or didn't happen, he has an obligation to report from Title IX to someone, to the coordinator, that he thinks something might be happening. What he did in this apology, if you watch the whole thing, is someone said, what would you say to Courtney Smith? And he said right back at that person, I apologize to everyone involved. He refused to say her name. You ignore her the first time you get reprimanded, you ignore her again. I think this is really disrespectful to the people. And when people say he should have not, there's way too many people for him to know, how would he know? This is his assist assistant coach he's very close with. He, he says he missed big red flags. Big, big miss here for him to have looked into the camera, said to Courtney Smith, I apologize. Whether or not it happened, he should have been a better head coach. Interesting. Um, I agree, Tori. I do want to bring in Brandon London. He's our uh, newest host here. And Brandon, Brandon has an interesting perspective because Brandon did play for the NFL and for college football. And Brandon's dad is a very well-known college football coach. So, Brandon, can you give us any insight? Yeah, um, back in the 2009 thing, uh, uh, Tori, that the charges were dropped by the wife. So this is something that Urban thinks was uh, he said, she said, or, you know, there was some red flags in what she was saying. And also in 2015, um, the text messages back and forth from Shelly Meyer and Courtney Smith, who's the, the accuser. Shelly Meyer was the one who went to the Powell Police Department. Now, Urban Meyer did not know about this, and they say that in the 23-page investigative report. Urban Meyer didn't know about the 2015 text messages between Courtney Smith and his wife until a Title IX director, for the deputy Title IX coordinator for the Ohio State Buckeyes, told the athletic director who later informed Urban Meyer. So if, if when it comes to a situation like this as a head coach where you have 10 coaches under your staff, you have 90 players you have to look after, if you get something wrong and you bring something up that still kind of he say, she say, and there's already a All you have to do, though, and I'm just, I'm sorry to interrupt no, you, ahead, but it does say that if you know or have reasonable knowledge that something might be occurring, you have to just, it could have been an email, a phone call to but the he coordinator. Didn't know. He in, did. In the, in the report, he, it says he did not there's know. There's questions about that 2015 disagreement of whether he did or did not know. If you have any hint of anything, you say something. It doesn't take a heroic effort to send an email saying, somebody look into this. Oh. He broke the okay. and he I, didn't, I, I just want to pose this too. What if he did not know? What do you always say about police when you get pulled over? What do you what are you not supposed to say? I'm sorry, right? Don't yeah, you, you don't always say that? Liability, yes. So if he didn't know about this and he had nothing to do with this and it's someone down the road, not him, why would he apologize to her? Because in his apology, he said he saw red flags that he ignored. Not only that, he said because Zach Smith was the grandson of Earl Bruce, the Ohio State Buckeye coach, who he thought of as a father, he gave him the benefit of the doubt. That's someone that read the cues and didn't do so something So having about a three-game suspension isn't enough? I'm saying the apology wasn't fair to Courtney Smith. I agree that they should have done the three-game or longer. My, my Speaking issue, of suspension, it, it, can we ask Brandon yeah. London, though? Because, Brandon, uh, have you talked to your father about this at all? I know you don't want to speak for him, but do you know any information on uh, whether or not a three-game suspension is suffice? Well, I, I texted my father this morning, and he gave me a background on what's a head coach's job when it comes to Title IX. I want to read this off. Head football coaches are responsible for their coaches' and families' conducts when it falls below the standards set by the institution. What's, but I get that. 
but you're talking about 10 plus 10 to 15 coaches and their families and then you're talking about 80 to 100 players that you have to look after make sure they're going to class make sure that they're not doing anything stupid at the bars after the game yeah that's his job how are no. you supposed to know all that his, first I, of all, I'm it, sorry it I kind of I, I agree with Brandon here now look if we're going to do this let's take the logical steps we are if 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 Urban Meyer is a planet and this woman is a planet there's a lot of stars in between that means that she has friends, she has sisters, aunts, uncles that she were close to that were, that were close to this situation. She took pictures I'm, I'm and saying sent it to his wife. That's an her, urban I guarantee planet. you her her relationship with Urban Meyer was distant at best. I'm saying just like any crime, this is a crime that happened. No different than the paternal thing. There were people close to that that are that allowed this to happen for years. Including we're talking, Urban if Meyer, apparently. Yes, but I'm City. saying there's a lot of people that are guilty before him. There were people closer to this one. woman to, than him. He even I guarantee you there are he friends of hers on, that sure, have known sure. about this in, since they met. In Title IX, it says not only do coaches have to do this, they have a heightened responsibility to be better at that. A supervisor. Height, more heightened than her family, Literally than her close friends. That. According to Title IX, he has a heightened responsibility to take care of those players. Okay, in his so community. so Tori, if something's going on with me, if I have some kind of addiction issue, it, is it not on you, the people I see 14 hours a day, or is it the head of our of our uh, parent company? It is. Who should say something parent, first? If the head of the parent company signed a huge million dollar lawsuit that in that said you have to report it it's this, on him. this is a good discussion okay. a very good discussion we're going to continue it in our break so make sure you stick to our facebook and youtube and we will continue this conversation